Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Also, welcome if you're new. So today we're here at Universal Studios Florida, and we're going to talk about the very first Halloween Horror Nights 2024 speculation map. A big thanks to How That Horror for releasing this as well. And we're just going to go around the park and actually go to each of the locations where the rumor houses are going to be. So it's going to be a really fun time. So come along and join me. And just a quick little mention: uh, this is actually the first speculation map that has been released, and usually they do about six throughout the whole time before the actual official announcement. All right, we are now inside of the park, and I'm actually going to put on the screen the speculation map, and here it is. We do have um, Latin American monsters. Um, Universal Hollywood actually had that last year, and actually looked kind of interesting from the uh, POVs I've watched on it. Do you have Ghostbusters, Universal Monsters, Dracula? That's going to be really exciting. A Quiet Place sequel house original so that might be a sequel to something else we had last year but we shall see we do have blumhouse imaginary insidious and megan we do have greek gods that sounds kind of cool and also tribute of terror and also two unknown original houses it actually looks pretty awesome i'm actually kind of excited for this and again these do change over time and i think last year we had about six speculation maps so it's pretty exciting Okay, so coming up first over here at Minion Mayhem, last year this was Blood Moon. So the speculation is this year, this is actually supposed to be Latin American Monsters. Now this house is actually a pretty good sized house and like what they did last year with Blood Moon, it was a beautiful house and it was actually pretty scary as well. But Latin American Monsters sounds pretty cool because I like that kind of stuff like chupacabras and whatnot. Okay, it's so actually now coming to our next house location. This is Ghostbusters. Now, I don't know if it's going to be like, you know, the old movies or the new movies, but maybe it will be the new movies because, like, supposedly it's pretty popular. And I know from 2019, it was actually a pretty popular house, but maybe it might be like a Beetlejuice house, like, or a fun house, but we shall see. And we now come to our next location, which is by Jimmy Fallon entrance. And usually they use this as like a really big IP house. The past two years they had um, Stranger Things. Then before that they had the original Halloween. Now this one is Universal Monsters Dracula. Usually when I do like the monsters, it's like, you know, in the backside behind E.T. and stuff. But they actually have Dracula over here now, which is actually pretty interesting. All right, now coming down by the New York Public Library, usually they have two houses over here. Last year, we did have Yeti and Dueling and Dragons. Now this year, to our left, we do have The Quiet Place. I've watched the first one. I don't think I've seen the second one, but it's a pretty dang good movie for like a horror movie. You know, it's very suspenseful and thrilling. And over here to the right, we do have a sequel house. Now, we don't know what this is going to be about. Now, there was like nods last year, like, you know, Oddfellow versus Jack. So maybe we'll have like a Jack versus Oddfell house. That'd be kind of cool, right? Okay, so now come to Fast and Furious Supercharged. And we can see the tent right behind here, which is super awesome. Already getting ready for Halloween Horror Nights. Now, the speculation map says for this year, the Horrors of Blumhouse, Imaginary, Insidious, and also Megan. And also something that's rumored, they're actually be closing Fast and Furious in August through November. So maybe they're actually going to have three houses in one. I mean, it kind of makes sense if they're actually closing down like Fast and Furious, the queue itself. That'd be kind of cool to actually build an actual queue inside Fast and Furious. It's just an idea, but we shall see. It's kind of a cool idea. I definitely like Insidious. Pretty good movie. Megan was just, eh, it was all right. It's kind of suspicious, but um, kind of want to see Imaginary. And as we're now on the way to our next house, actually take a look at Chez Alcatraz. They have actually already started gutting out the whole insides. Take a look at that. And we actually still have booths out here to people to actually run it. Pretty awesome that they do that. Okay, so we actually now come to the old Fear Factor Stadium where they actually have Nightmare Fuel. And supposedly we rumor to have Nightmare Fuel 4. Now, this of course is nothing official again. Maybe it might be a whole different show because, like, I think last year was supposed to be like the conclusion and then like the whole like dream thing. But like, it would be actually really cool to see what's going to happen. Also, there's a guy just like walking over there. So, it looks like they are doing some kind of construction work inside of the actual stadium itself. I actually hear some stuff going on there. Very interesting. So at the moment, this is like the best we can really get, but there is movement going on inside there. So I don't know what's happening, but like very interesting to see there's actually movement going on now in the old Fear Factor Stadium. So hopefully we might get a brand new show this year because like um, Nightmare Fuel was pretty good, but like I was actually ready for like a brand new show. So hopefully we'll get something else. And also I'm really excited to get like a new Lagoon show because like um, right now they are doing work to the Lagoon and 
maybe we'll have some for the summer or maybe it'll be done just in time for a brand new HHN Lagoon show. That'd be super cool to have because like honestly, HHN past two years has been super packed. Like we need more stuff to do than like not your fuel in the houses and stuff. Like to have two shows go on plus houses, like that's more entertainment and like it makes the wait times lower for the houses themselves. That's just my personal opinion. But um, anyways, let's actually go on to our next house locations. So as we're now outside of Fear Factor Stadium, now this location for the past two years, we have Bugs Eaten Alive and Off Fellows Twisted Origins. Now this next year, we're actually looking at having Greek gods. Now that sounds kind of cool to be honest, like maybe like battling between the gods, like, you know, Zeus and like Hades and Poseidon, like that kind of stuff. And maybe we'll have like a Poseidon's Fury, like, you know, kind of a homage to it. Like that would be really cool. So we'll see, just kind of quick thought. All right, now over here by MIB Gear Shop, taking a look at where the houses are gonna be up over here. Now, this left side we are looking at Tribute to Terror, and also the right side we are looking at an original house. Now, taking a look at the um, icon, actually, for Tribute to Terror, we have some octopus tentacles, but this actually kind of reminds me of the uh, tribute story we had last year, like there's like an octopus creature inside that first, or oh, actually inside that second room, actually. And we actually had a house, uh, 2021, uh, case files unearth legendary truths so maybe we'll have something for boris shutter once again that'd be kind of cool okay so now over here near the dreamworks construction area now for the last house now this is going to be an original house at the moment but something definitely to think about how they're going to do like the route for the house so like for the line and everything last year we had like the et and everything like it's gonna be really cool to see what they do and of course by then uh dreamworks land will be officially open and we now come to the lagoon and they are still doing work at the moment. And it's really exciting to see what they're going to do. Hopefully we have some kind of like summer nighttime show. And of course they were testing drones and whatnot. That's kind of cool. But we shall see what they actually do. I'm really excited to see if they actually bring back like a Howling Horror Nights Lagoon show. They are so awesome. So we're now over here in Battery Park talking about two rumors. Now the first one here will be a weekend bar. Now that will be kind of cool. We had it two years ago. I don't know if it was like really an official bar, more like a pop-up bar, but it's supposed to be a weekend bar, which is pretty cool. And also with that over here, we might be having maybe a weekend scare zone. That'd be kind of cool, like be like right by each other. Cause last year Vamp 69 was very popular. Everybody loved it but maybe we'll have a weekend scare zone here as well with all the music and whatnot. And I think everybody enjoys just like the music in the scare zones. It'd be kind of fun. And of course now over here at the Five of Dime, we're gonna take a look at the merchandise once again, this is where horror lives. Me personally, I am not a huge fan of it. I mean, it could grow me, but we shall see. It might be kind of fun where horror lives. Take a close look out at the sun. These are like trucker style hats, you know, tumblers, and of course a shirt. It is black light reactive. It's kind of cool. This episode has a grow on me. All right, guys. Well, that will do it here from Universal Studios Florida. Going over the very first speculation map and going around the locations where the rumored are going to be. Now, again, this is just speculated and nothing is official until Universal officializes it. And these things change like six times. Like if you a whole different house, you know, anything could change. But it's still fun to go around and just like be ready and like to know where the actual house locations are going to be it's really exciting and i'm honestly really excited to see when the actual announcements are going to be this year because of course it is the earliest it's ever going to be in um august 30th so that means maybe in like sometime in july we're gonna have the full house list it's gonna be super awesome but anyways hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video show a big old thumbs up and subscribe to channel for more future content i will see you guys next one thank you so much for watching